Alright guys, just doing a little quick news update video today. So, the pre-patch has officially gone live on the TBC Classic PTR. So obviously this very likely means that the pre-patch is going to pop off very, very soon. I'm going to give you my educated guess of when it's going to be, but realistically it could be any reset day from here until around about a month's time. I don't think it's going to come out in September, it's definitely going to be in August. I also have a teeny weeny little bit of insider info which makes me feel like I'm 99.9% .9 sure that a pre-patch is going to be any of the reset days starting on the week of the 22nd, so it could be 22nd, 23rd or 24th. Now I can't tell you the details of that insider info because all the details have not been finalised but I will be able to tell you very, very soon. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that little news update when it does come. This isn't some kind of porky pie thing to get people to subscribe to the channel or anything. Whether it is going to happen or not, I will definitely be able to tell you very, very soon. Now, there's been some interesting things on the pre-patch that people have discovered and noticed. The first being is in the character creation menu. If you go to where you would normally pick whether you're going to play a male or female character, this is now tagged as a body type. I don't really want to go into this too much, like all the politics behind it, because I couldn't really think of anything more uninteresting to talk about on my channel personally, but in my humble opinion, in a sentence, these days all companies have to be as inclusive and woke as humanly possible, and it's just the thing that they have to do. You guys might call it virtual signaling, I just call it damage control, to be honest. Anyway, let's move on. Now, the first thing that people are noticing is that their characters are stupidly more powerful than they were in TBC. I mean, that's a no-brainer, but let me tell you what exactly is going on. So, people are five-manning Karazhan, okay? And they're also doing crazy stuff like pulling all of the mobs up until the first boss on heroic ramparts and killing bosses in about 10 seconds. So yeah, this pre-patch does buff your character quite dramatically. Another big question people are asking is obviously arena gear. Now, basically, as of now, nothing has changed. So the costs, as they are now on live, are no different as they are on the PTR. Now this is subject to change because it's like literally the first day of the PTR. It might change in the future, but it looks like we're not going to be able to get season 3 gear for honor points because it's still has arena points tagged to it. That could change in the future though, and hopefully it actually does, because it should. But if this is anything to go by, a lot of things are still not working very properly. Many of the classes are still bugged, like they have bugs that they've had on the beta for like over a month, and the XP buff isn't even active. So yeah, a lot of things are definitely ski whiff. Which further reinstates the theory that the pre-patch is definitely two to three weeks off. It also looks like that the level 70 template characters are exactly the same as they were in beta. Now, I'm not saying that absolutely confirms that the gear we're getting on these templates is what we're going to get in the level 70 boost. However, I still think it's fairly likely that it's going to be something similar. It's going to be heroic level gear. But again, that's just my personal opinion. I might turn out to be entirely wrong. Who cares? But in original TBC beta, the templates on there were exactly what they turned out to be for the boosted characters. So if that's anything to go by, yeah, I think there's a chance. I feel like they would have changed it by now, especially at this point when they're popping off the uh, PTR for the pre-patch, because they would want to test the character boost, right? Anyway guys, there's not much left to talk about. My name is Minigoblin, until the next video, ciao.